Hello, this is Paul with a Grow Shop Tech Tip. Today we'll be discussing planetary reducers, how they work, and some of the advantages and disadvantages. We'll begin with the planetary's layout. Simple planetary gears are arranged with a centrally located, externally toothed sun gear that meshes with one or more externally toothed planet gears. As the name implies, the planet gears rotate around the sun gear. The planet gears also mesh with an internally toothed ring gear, which encompasses the entire gear set. The construction of the planetary reducer lends itself to many advantages. For example, planetary reducers give you high torque in a compact package. Sharing the load between several planet gears allows the reducer to handle the same torque that larger parallel axis gear sets handle. They are also highly efficient, with the single stage typically around 95% efficient. These reducers provide for ratios as high as 11 to 1 that can be achieved in a single stage, whereas it's difficult to achieve much higher than 5 to 1 in a single parallel axis stage. Since the sun gear contacts multiple planet gears, resistance to elastic deformation is higher in a planetary gear set than a parallel axis gear set, giving the planetary reducer high torsional stiffness. They allow for coaxial alignment, meaning there's no offset between the output shaft of the motor and the output of the reducer. The output shaft on planetary reducers also rotates in the same direction as the motor without needing an idler gear that you would need in a parallel axis gear set. Planetary reducers are ideal for intermittent duty applications, but can also be used in continuous duty applications. Finally, Grow Shop planetaries have an integrated housing, meaning the ring gear is integrated into the outer housing of the gearbox, which adds to the robusticity. Compared to the advantages of the planetary reducers, the disadvantages are minimal for most applications. For example, high ratio of length to diameter when using multiple stages. Potentially high cost if low backlash, high precision gearing is required. Specific numbers of gear teeth are required, equally spaced planets for ease of assembly and noise mitigation. The gear ratio determines how many planets can be used. You should consider planetary reducers when designing for applications that require high torque in a smaller package with an output shaft that needs to be coaxial aligned with the motor. This has been a Grow Shop Tech Tip. For more information about any of our products or to view other tech tips, please visit us online at www.growshop.com.